Hi, part two of In Your Dreams audio rig. Um, we're going to start with this first. It's, it's an 800 watt stereo uh, amplifier, like a power amp, and connected to a 2x18 um, with a horn uh, cab. Uh, this is actually is a part of a stereo system, but I only run this in mono. This gives me a lot of power. It actually is actually in stereo, it's basically one speaker. You need something like, like this size to get over the drum kit, which is loud. It's a loud thing. Drums are loud. They are really loud. And um, I play loud too. Um, I'm reasonably hard here. You need something like to get over the drum kit. But saying that, I do actually use the, use the kit drum mics. And I put them through here just so that it gels with the mix a little bit. Um, so you can basically see that I've got like a, the drum kit here, uh, a kick drum mic and a snare drum mic, and those what and those what I trigger. Uh, I've got a vocal mic there, uh, in, like some sort of basic in ear monitors as well, so I can hear what I'm doing and access like I have an in ear this side, this ear is open, so I can hear my monitor and, and that thing there actually acts as uh, as a stage. Uh, monitor for me um, it keeps everything constant I know the sound I know how loud it is I know my sound if I I, I control everything um, so that there's no like real variables going on or otherwise I'd be in trouble so um, look at the uh, audio rig I have a laptop firewire connection MIDI controller on the top here I've got my uh, Sapphire Pro 40 um, 8 in 10 out analog Behringer like uh, a virtualizer effects unit and a Behringer 16 channel uh, analog mixing desk. Um, live setup and this is KT drum trigger on the kick drum. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, let's just do, 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 do that. Okay, there's one mini signal. Just one. Just one. I've got the same on the snare as well. Right, right. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. It's going to get deeper. Let's have a look at the trigger act. We've got four here like as i said before we've got our choosers here the randomizer except it's not randomizing it's doing something very concrete in the sequence okay it's uh going from one to four and it's adding all the time one to four one to four and here we have da -da -da -da. right let's check out see what it's got we've got three alphas and a serum on the end right ready oh we started off on that one ah here's the serum and then back to the free alpha. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Yeah, the serum. Ah, the serum. The serum, the serum. Free alpha. Free! Free! The serum! Next rack. Okay. As an enzyme, the free free alpha's right. Ah. Oh! Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Shrimp, come on, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Come on! You've got this far. This is really, let's, let's build one. Let's build a rack. Uh, it's simple when you know how. It took me a long time. I had to figure it out. Even um, after asking certified Ableton instructors, they couldn't do it. They didn't know what I wanted. It's quite simple, really, in the end. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Right. First of all, um, let's create, uh, let's have an instrument rack uh, in the movie track. Boom, right? Uh, let's open up the chain selector and then the chain. Ka ching, no, not yet. Um, uh, hide chain, hide, 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 hide. Okay, now you need another instrument rack in the instrument rack, nested. Ha, oh, figure that. Nested instrument rack. Well, what do you say? Um, then we have another one. Let's rename this. Rename, rename. Um, mm, one. Okay. Uh, rename. T W O. Okay. So we've got this chain one. 
band right then what we do is we open up the chain in this instrument rack um, and what we do next is we throw in a few synths <laughs> go figure um, we could have Dune, Bomb, Kaching, okay, then we could have a uh, Synth Master. If you're a master of synths, you could have that one. Um, we've got Enzyme, Bomb, um, and that's a Firebird for a laugh, okay. So then all we need to do, um, the, we did the really, really um, secret weapon here, let's just close this for a second. One, two, Pitching, close these up right so the secret weapon is a midi midi effects rack and we need to put random here let's have it at like a nice round number four scale of one chances 100% so that every time you get a midi note coming from here it goes to this in this rack here it goes to this randomizer but it's not random it's put this to add add um, so it goes from one to four so you'll see one two three four okay um, and then just to make life easy because we like an easy life might keep it simple straw head okay uh, what we can do is we can put um, no length in here and we'll Put a pitch in for just a lot because it's really easy to control the pitch and the note length from here. So if you have a huge, huge bass sob going on in there and you've got a big PA system and you just can't, it just blows everything apart. Then you could just have it here. So if it's an 808, it'll be boom. And if it's like there, it'll be boom. So. Um, you can have your notes over overlapping. So th this is basically it. Really simple when you know how. Of course, it's really simple. Yeah. Right. So that's how you do it. That's the rack system. Yeah, just to stretch it out. Like money. Okay. Right. Put number two there. Stretch it out to number two. Then we go for macro controls. Look. Um, map mode. Map mode. Map mode. Let's have this cursor here to map here. Bam. All right, we're done. That's the map mode back. Right, look at that. Woo. That's nice. One, two, right. So, that's it. Really simple when you know how. Um, that's this, this is the world's first. I mean, you know, why nobody's ever thought of this beats, beats me. Beats me. I'm a drummer. Ha! Huh beats me so uh, that's it really if you don't like it you know what to do but uh, if you do like it um, give me a thumbs up and